Okay guys, here we are at Beauty Bar. Right now we're talking with Mark Habka from Days of Our Lives, also in this brand new short film called Boo. Okay. Yes ma'am. I want to start with the short film because I just okay. watched it yesterday. I got really freaked out. Yeah? What was your favorite part? Um, when Chris's character jumps against the window. That, oh yeah, when I, he scares Sammy. I screamed. Sammy. That was a good moment. That was we wanted. We wanted to have. We didn't want to overdo that because it's kind of like you know the cheese factor. But that moment was the one main one where we wanted to catch everybody, and so far it's been successful. Mm -hmm. How much production went into that? I heard not very much. So I want to hear the story. Probably how did how did Boo come about? Production is you guys got going on here right now. We just went to a place. Literally, it's very similar to this camera and the same blinding light on top, and that's it. I mean, a microphone, a camera, and a light, and wherever we could sneak in and film gorilla style. Oh, wow. Great. So you guys didn't have any permits for shooting, any yes. script? Uh, yes, we had permits for everything. <laughs> no, it was it was fun. I mean, that, I think that's the most uh, intriguing way to, to, to film. I think it's, um, <clears throat> it's a good way to have happy accidents and things that you would never be able to preconceive mm -hmm. happen and which make great moments inside of it. Mm -hmm. No, now can you get back to like the script? How did you know what you were going to be doing, what you were going to be saying? Was it improv or was it fully scripted? There was a basic idea, a breakdown that uh, that we got, we kind of talked about, mm -hmm. but all of it was improv. We had a couple set things, and you know, Brandon in the end had a little bit to work with, but he kind of went off and did his own thing. Mm -hmm. So it was basically all improv, and everybody just kind of having fun. Okay. Well, you asked me what my favorite moment was in Boo. What was your favorite moment? Shooting. And uh, or in final production. Favorite moment in Boo would have to be, um, geez, we're going to have to edit out all this dry space. Um, <laughs> just Decision. the whole night in general. I mean, it went by so fast that it was just a really fun night of everybody just kind of collaborating and coming together. And it was, it was fun. I mean, I don't have a specific moment. Probably hanging out upstairs while <laughs> Sammy was screaming in the hallways, running around with flickering lights. We're in there playing acoustic guitar, me and Chris. And and uh, you know a bunch of other friends just singing. Yeah, how did you guys get away with having her scream at the top of her lungs in a random building? How did you get away with that? We did it in one take and then we ran. <laughs> <laughs> was, that, was that the last scene or something? Um, pretty much, there's an irony to it. I mean, in the building that we were shooting, um, you know, it's about a janitor that's chasing us around. Uh, the only reason we went into a second night, we, we pretty much almost had this entire thing filmed in one night. But we went into the second night because we had to cut our first night short because the janitor was kicking us out, which is kind of ironic. Oh. And then it, we end up at, the, at this building in the film because I forget my wallet at home. Mm -hmm. And then I left the shoot that night and I forgot uh, the wallet, my wallet there in, in David's car and I had to come all the way back. So there's all these weird ironies that happened oh, that were very wow. similar to the, the film. All right, so pretend someone has not yet seen Boo. Give them an idea of what they can expect when they watch it. Um, be prepared to be confused. Be prepared to um, laugh at the cheesiness and actually be scared on the occasion as well. And uh, just watch it with an open mind because it's, it's interesting, it's fun. And the main uh, point we're trying to get across is you can all do the same thing. Just go out there with a camera, a light, and a microphone and, and get creative and edit it together and throw it up on the web. Happens it's instant distribution nowadays uh -huh. with new media, media. Like you can literally put it up and everyone will see it. And now with Twitter and Facebook, it's like, we have fans interacting directly with us and telling us what we think. And it's like back in the day, maybe they can write fan mail and maybe that person might open it and read it. Nowadays, it's like in 30 seconds, you can have it it's Twittered. It's all and instantaneous. It's all instantaneous, which is scary and cool at the same time. So the end of the film definitely leaves us all hanging. Do you think there is a possibility for a Boo 2? It all depends on how much you guys like Boo 1. So let us know what you think when you see it. Okay, so basically we all need to go on YouTube, check out Boo, Comment request it, it. Let us know, get all the views, repost it, retweet it, re whatever you got to do, all this new new media. It's it's crazy. Just just let everybody know what you think about it and you know, we'll keep we'll keep playing, we'll keep making them. Mm -hmm. Can you name everyone that's in it? And are you guys all really friends? You you seem like a, an actual group of friends. Can you tell me about that? Everyone everyone is from random shows. Um, a lot of them from Disney. A lot of them from ABC Family. Everyone is is yeah. Everyone's basic friends or acquaintances of you know friends brought together by other friends and just everyone clicked really well. You want me to name everybody that's in it? Yeah. Go. Okay. We got uh, uh, Brandon Michael Smith. We got um, 
Chris Hunter, Sammy Droke, uh, Francia, uh, Ellen Evangelista. Uh, who am, I, am I missing anything, Chris? Uh, Ellen, Eva- uh, Tiffany Thornton. Uh, yeah, Francia from um, yeah, and directed by David Henry from Wizards of Waverly Place. Mm-hmm. I don't know how you guys all. Go- debut. I don't know how you guys all got together and found time for it, but it's awesome. I really liked it. We're gonna cover it on Clever TV for you guys, so definitely watch out for that. Now, since we have you here, let's talk about Days of Our Life. Tell us about the schedule for soaps. How does that work? Do you work Monday through Friday? Is it crazy hours? It's very similar. It it very much reminds me of high school again. It's very similar in style to where we have like two week hiatuses that are around uh, holidays. Um, We have, yes, we have like a handful of two weeks off, one week off. Uh, We shoot Monday through Friday, just like school would. We're usually done by five o'clock every day, so it's almost close to the time of school. And we always have weekends off, so it's pretty, and it's pretty consistent. You know, I work anywhere between three to five times a week. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. I can't complain. Okay, so lucky for you, the holidays are coming up, so you're going to have a break. Any fun plans? (laughs) Yes, my last uh, hiatus, I took off randomly to Europe. I went out to London, south of France, um, ended up in Paris, Nice, Monaco, Cannes. It's amazing, yeah. Uh, so I got to kind of chill out with the um, those kind of trips, although I might end up in uh, Australia at the beginning of December just because it's another place I want to go. I'm going to head home, though, for Christmas. You always got to be your own family. Mm-hmm. And I, I know you probably feel the same way, but being on the East Coast or close to the East Coast is always mm-hmm. better around Christmas time. Yeah, snow, the feel, the snow. family, yeah. So I'm really, really stoked to go home and see mm-hmm. the family again. What else are you working on right now? Um, can you work on anything? You're all booked up with Days of Our Lives. I'm pretty booked up, but if I can find time to do other projects, I'm allowed, and I do as often as I can. Like, Boo was done on a weeknight after I got done shooting Days of Our Lives. We went out and we shot it, and then I went back the next day and shot Days. And, you know, we just fit it in. And if I can do anything on the weekends, I will. We're, uh, we're working on other skits right now. Um, oh, David okay. Henry's got a couple other things in the works as uh-huh. well. And hopefully, you know, with a good response from Boo. So far, I mean, we got probably over 100,000 hits on YouTube. Wow. Um, and we're just going to we're gonna fuel off of that. You know, we love to play. We love to create. And we're going to keep doing it for as long as people will keep watching it. Uh-huh. So, yeah, we're going to keep busy with that. And it will be, like, the same group of people, basically? Yeah, why not? I mean, we, we like to keep it, keep it in the family, add in people that, other people that want to play, add in other friends, you know, just whatever happens. Cool. Very nice. All right. I think we're done, right? Anything else you want to add? Um, no, just if you haven't seen Boo yet, get up there on uh, Ute TV and check it out on YouTube. And uh, Do you know where it's located, by chance? On YouTube? Under, what is it? YouTube slash Ute TV? Y-U-T-E TV? Yeah. Or just search Boo in my name or one of those names I told you. Up. It'll pop up. All right. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. Yeah, Mark. All right. Thank you, guys.